Okay, this is a video called Mr. Eng, and this is a, a portion of a document formerly classified as secret that was approved for release June 2005, and it is a fitness report part one performance um, to January 1957. Um, on the basis of above directions and considering the need for a scientific background in this position, I would rate Mr. Eng 4. On the basis of his performance as an administrator, I would rate him 5. Specific duty number 1, supervises approximately redacted number of professional intelligence officers through the branch chiefs, serves as chief in absence of division chief, monitors closely the division production program, makes recommendations concerning division operating policies and procedures, monitors division collection program. And this is a, let's see, direction, stress, strengths, and weaknesses, particularly those which affect development on present job. Mr. Eng has a widespread knowledge of agency and office policies, procedures, and personnel. In these respects, he has been invaluable. His major weakness in his present position is his lack of scientific background, which at this stage of his career cannot be corrected. Mr. Eng has the capabilities to be of even more value to the agency in other assignments and particularly should be considered for a suitable overseas assignment. So basically my dad filed for a FOIA on ransom and it came after my dad lost the capacity to completely read, speak or comprehend English language due to uh, neurological decline. And so then I put in a Freedom of Information Act request and the agency was just kind of like, well, we just sent one to your dad. <laughs> And I don't think they would send me anything on him. My dad had a summer job there. <laughs> I stress summer. It was $1.80 an hour. It was like a file clerk at age 16 or 17 or something. So this is fitness report part two potential. Mm. Okay, here's this final page, I think. Memorandum for record subject. Comments of reviewing officials. References made to part two of the fitness report on Mr. Ransom L. Eng, dated 2 January 1957. As reviewing official, I do not share a blank estimate of Mr. Eng's potential indicated in section G items two. Ooh, hold on. Let me check that reference. Hmm. Hmm. Section G item two. Okay, well. Although I consider Mr. Eng a valued and competent officer, it is my feeling that ratings of 2 in item 1 and in the 3rd and 5th factors of item 2 would be more appropriate. My judgment is based on direct observation of Mr. Eng in his present and previous assignments where he had ample opportunity to demonstrate his true abilities. I note also that blank redacted in his characterization of Mr. Eng in section 1 tends to support my evaluation by his marking of certain key factors in the description of Mr. Eng. I have discussed my views with blank Office of Scientific Intelligence, who is in agreement with me on them. Deputy Assistant Director Scientific Intelligence. <laughs> Very good day. What does it mean? Okay. Here's a, okay. Mr. Eng is a careful Comments concerning potential. Mr. Eng is a careful, capable supervisor, logical and clear thinking, one who gives due consideration to the desires and feelings of the employee as well as to the administrative needs of the agency. His major defect in his present position is his lack of scientific background, training or other developmental experience plan for the individual. He has been recommended for attendance at War College. He would also benefit from an overseas assignment. 
Note other factors, including personal circumstances, to be taken into account with individuals' future assignments. There is now no personal factor which would interfere with overseas assignment. His son is old enough so that the school problem would not be serious. <laughs> and honestly, did England make Dad the man he was? <laughs> Absolutely. Or Germany too, I guess. But all he said about Germany is they drink a lot of beer. And they shoplifted the beer steins from the beer halls. And then when the school inspectors would inspect their dormitory, they would fill up a bubble bath and hide all the beer steins in the bathtub because they had so many of them and they didn't want to be found out. <laughs> and I think they got everything in English. It was like an American school. So he, he never had a lick of German. But he had a, a decent amount of French. He said he was better at pronunciation than comprehension. <laughs> Okay, here we go. This is interesting. This is page one of the formerly secret. This is code up here. It's Moray Doc ID 1219883. So down here, the fitness report. During period under review, Mr. Eng was shifted from Chief SAD OSI, and that would be Office of Scientific Intelligence, to Chief. Redacted. In the new position, he has reviewed the functions of his redacted and reorganized the unit for more effective and efficient functioning. Requirements have shifted from the control of the redacted. <laughs> okay, so name and probably something redacted of the official next higher in line of authority. There's a name, Robert Armory Jr. Hmm, should I look them up? All right, and I love this one. This is like, okay, during during the period of this rating, Mr. Eng served as chief of blank with the following assignments, supervision of the staff, which was responsible in a staff capacity for all office activities relating to the collection of S and T intelligence, S being scientific and T, um, I would guess technological, but I don't know. <laughs> Advise the ADSI in office collections problems, frequent dealings with not only CIA collection activities, but those of other agencies as well. Date of birth, 2 May 1909. Office assigned to OSI, Division Scientific Analysis. Date of the report. Current position. Deputy Chief. Ah, oh, okay, Deputy. I'm getting what that means. Deputy Chief as opposed to Chief. Got it, I think. And that's where, okay. Immediate supervisor would be Herbert Scoville Jr. So those are Robert Armory Jr. and Herbert Scoville Jr. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, that was all. I'm just going to read about Mr. Ng. I learned this smile for Manson. It's like pleasant, neutral, non threatening, not too friendly, not too menacing, just open. <laughs> might have, he might have got it from his father. I don't know, my Reno region. His poor, his poor mother died when he was two, Fanny. The one with all the German Jewish sounding last names <laughs> in her family tree now, thanks to Raymond's great grand whatever, putting it on genie.org, I think. OSI, fundamental scientist, official pos position title, IO Deputy Chief FSD slash SI. Certification, probable rates of. Oh dear. What is the, what's the scale here? A what out of what? Okay. I learned his medical information. Yes. <sighs> I am pleased to inform you that your request for voluntary retirement under the CIA retirement and disability system has been approved by the Director of Central Intelligence. Your re 
require a retirement will become effective 28 February 1969 and your annuity will commence as of 1 March 1969. The annuity is payable on the first day of the month following that for which it accrued. You may be assured that every effort will be made to expedite delivery of your first check following the following completion of the administrative processing required to effect your retirement. You will receive a lump sum payment for your accrued annual leave up to 30 days or for whatever amount of leave credit you carried over from is the last calendar year if that amount is more than 30 days. Robert S. Wattles, Director of Personnel. Oh, salary. Oh. Seek, it was formerly secret. It was declassified in 2005. Salary? Really? Old salary, new salary. Periodic step increase authentication. What? Okay, in 1956, he was making $12,420 a year. And he got a raise to $12,690 a year. But that was the year he's in England. Surely something was paid for, I would hope. How did they live in such a nice little flat? Maybe that was like an agency flat. Maybe they had rooms. They had to rebuild Europe. That was a big deal. And rebuild England.